This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined by Ginty over Zoom. It's good to see you, mate. You are a nice fight announcement. How are you? Yeah, man. Feeling good. Everything's well. What about you, man? I'm all right. Taking over. Well, it's good. I love when there's a fight announcement. Then you've got about, how many, you've got about 16 interviews you can do in the space of a few days and you upload one a day. So it makes my life a little bit easier. Then you kind of know what's going on, which is, which is nice. But you're fighting Halal Ham. I just interviewed him about 10 minutes ago. So that, that'll be out soon. How are you feeling about okay. it? Yeah, great. Um, feeling really good, you know. I've been training hard. Um, feel like I'm ready. And it's nice to have a proper camp for once, you know. Nice, lengthy camp. Yeah, feeling good. I guess your other camp against JMX is quite short. But the one for Kingpin, was that really short as well? Uh, four or five weeks. Okay, not that long so, then, yeah. Yeah, and then the JMX, two weeks. So this I've known about for like nine, ten weeks, something like that. So I feel like I've had a proper camp, so... For once, you know, it's nice. You're a lot, you're a lot stronger, fitter. Everything's kind of timed by two or three. Literally, yeah. This time, you know, like with JMX, like my cardio was bad. I only had two weeks. I was drinking before I got the phone call, and but now I was just on it, you know. So yeah. And are you still training down at Dance McCann down at that gym, or are you at a different gym now? Yeah, I'm still at the same gym. Yeah. Okay. And with uh, yeah. with the Aggie as well. Yeah, we've been sparring with Aggie, yeah. Aggie's came down to camp. He doesn't, he's not like part of a camp, but he's helping me spar. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got a few good rounds and, you mm. know, yeah, it's been good, man. But you're saying you got told about it like eight or nine minutes ago. So that was Halal Ham. Were there any other options on the table? Or was Mam Swab, we got Ham, do you want to take it or leave it? That sort of thing. It was that kind of thing. At the same time, I would like to fight Panetta. I would have to like, you know, meet in the middle with weight a bit. With the KSI fight, he was 179. I could get down to 185. You know, mm -hmm. we can meet 180, 185. But he dropped weight for the B-Day fight, so I don't know. But, yeah, I'm um, Pineda. I'd, I'd like to fight Pineda. Mm. I put that tweet, yeah, I put that tweet, like, three, two weeks ago. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Because I've been calling Pineda out, like, on and off, like, for, like, maybe one or two months now. And, yeah, I saw that tweet. I was like, yeah, yeah. It did a good, it did a good engagement. It did, it did really good numbers as well. So I think that's a fight. People could be able to see. I mean, if you beat Halal Ham, that's a fight that could be possibly next. But yeah, you put yeah. up with you and like saying well done for him after, didn't you? Yeah, because I don't know. Like, I respect him. Everyone loves Pineda. You can't hate on Pineda, you know. Um, but I just think I beat him, you know. Like personally, yeah, you know what I mean. I just think I'm better. So, in what in what style? Like the, the strength, the bigger, stronger. Yeah, I'm definitely bigger, stronger. It says he's six three. I doubt he's six three. Um, I'm just big. Hard. I'll hit him hard. I don't think he'll be able to take it personally. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that could be a really good fight. Obviously down the line, but you're fighting Halal Ham, just over a month away. Um, mate, what you saw with Halal's last fight against DTG? What do you make of it going into this fight? It's just how. Halal Ham, Halal Ham usually fights, gasses that one in the first round. You know, in the third round, he didn't even like throw any punches hardly. He was just trying to make it to the bell. Um, he just comes out wild swinging, you know, wild overhands, and that's just him in it. So, yeah. He broke his nose in the first round, so that might be one of the reasons why his cardio was so bad. But is it that's a weakness of his, the cardio? How do you see it? How do you see his strengths and weaknesses match up? Usually his cardio is shocking. Every every time he gasses out fast, but uh, I think he's been training hard. I feel like this is the only fight he's taken seriously, it seems, and what it comes across. Um, so hopefully he'll give me a good fight. But yeah, um, I think his cardio will be better this time for sure. Yeah, mm. it should be should be interesting. But how do you think your style matched up against you know, his style? His kind of come forward, your come forward. That's kind of a perfect kind of matchup you got there. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting, especially with the with the height difference and the reach. Mm. The reach is proper in my favor, and yeah, it's gonna be an interesting fight. Yeah, it will be quite sick. Yeah. How do you how do you try and utilize that reach? Because you are big, very big high reach advantage over him. How do you make sure it doesn't get in the inside and you keep on the outside of your jab? Just do what I've been doing and training. You know, I don't want to say too too much, but you know, we've been working on the fundamentals. You know, keeping them long and. If he chooses to come in, he's going to pay for it. You know, he's going to get clipped. So, yeah, we're going to make him pay. Do you reckon you can, you can get him out of there? Yeah, 100%. 100%.
Yeah. We walked around and then kind of halfway through the fight, first, third. I just see it. I say second round. I'm not. I'm not going to be cocky to say first round knockout, but second round I'll get him out of there. Mm, that should be good then. Yeah, that's great. Um, just a couple more things on yourself. Your TikTok. You mean you got a bit more fun on the TikTok, like posting less. Yeah, I'm just focused on training mainly. Maybe I need to work on the promo a bit, but I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram a bit more, but I need to post on TikTok more. Um, just get some slack in a little bit, but we'll catch up, we'll catch up. Mm. But I, I've just been trying to work hard, you know, making sure I get my redemption, you know, because this fight for me, you know, I came on Misfits, took an L, but I need to get my redemption now and Halal Ham is that redemption. Do you think you got a lot of respect after the last fight, though, because how tough you were against Joe? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. A lot of people do respect me, yeah. Um, majority is respect. Majority of people respected me, yeah. It was good, but it's not nice to take an L at the same time. But I was the massive underdog, do you know what I mean? So, hey, ho. Mm, certainly. Well, I look forward to it. Fight week's going to be certainly interesting. It's very, I love unexpected stuff happens in fight week. I'm sure I'll see you then. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man.